Hello, and welcome to the first in a series of demos for Advanced Roadmaps for Jira. My name is Rhys. I'm a product manager on the Advanced Roadmaps team. Today, I'll start off with an overview of the new Advanced Roadmaps planning interface, now available for Jira Premium users. The Advanced Roadmaps plan is composed of three main sections, accessible from these tabs. The Roadmap is the main section of the tool where you'll manage and plan the scope of issues from multiple projects and teams. When you create a plan, you can select from multiple sources to pull issues from, whether they're projects, boards, or JQL filters. The next section is the Teams tab. This is where you create teams, define their velocities, whether they're a Scrum or Kanban team, associate them to an issue source such as their board, and define team members for the team. Next is the Release tab, where you'll find the fixed versions associated to each of the issue sources in your plan. Here you can create new versions, manage release dates, and have an overview of status for each release. This status here indicates whether the scheduled issues assigned to the release will be completed before the release end date. Advanced Roadmaps offers a feature to group projects releases into cross-project releases. This is to keep track of work across teams moving towards a shared release. In this example, we have a 1.0 mobile cross-project release to group together 1.0 releases across both the Android and iOS projects. Now back to the Roadmap tab, this is where you'll spend most of your time planning. You have access to all your issues in the scope table, structured in nested hierarchy. Right now we're seeing all the issues from the top level down to the subtask. We use this top initiative level to associate epics across multiple teams and projects. In this section, you can create new issues from one of two ways, either from the top of the scope section or in line to slot it in a specific hierarchy and rank. Drag and drop can also be used to move issues under a different parent hierarchy or change the issues rank. Using the hierarchy range, we can focus on the issues that are relevant to your level of work. The fill section is where you have access to view and edit most of your issue data, as well as have visibility over status and progress of in-flight work. Fields can be added and removed for when you need access to it, with support for a wide range of custom fields as well. You can also collapse certain fields for when you want quick access to them, but you don't need to see their values immediately. Above the fields is a filter dropdown, which you can use to find and isolate issues based on issue properties. The default behavior when filtering is to show full hierarchy. This is useful for drilling into the hierarchy of the results further. For example, search for an epic and see all the children in that epic, but with a visual treatment to indicate that they aren't exact matches to the query. This option can be switched off to isolate only the issues that match the filter. For adjusting the timeline range, we provide three quick options for three months, a year, or to fit the range of your scheduled issues. You can also set a custom range, whether they're fixed dates or relative. Relative allows you to maintain a rolling window of the plan. For example, always show me two weeks into the past and six months into the future. This is very useful for sharing your plan so that it always shows a relevant window of time for consumers of the plan. The view settings dropdown provides the ability to shape how your issues are visualized in the roadmap. Grouping options allow you to swim lane work based on numerous variables. Plans are most typically grouped by team, so you can see the, each team's swim lane of work. Coloring options enable you to call out specific properties by coloring the issues on the roadmap. This provides quick visibility on things like status, the different types of work, or issues across teams that are categorized into organizational themes. In this example, we've organized issues into themes based on a label. Using roll-up options, you can view information on issues surfaced from their descendants. Here we have some epics that don't have dates set on them. Instead, we roll up the dates from the child issues to the epic. Similarly, the child stories assigned to sprints and releases can have those values rolled up to the parent as well. The last option in the view settings dropdown allows you to sort issues based on a variety of issue properties. So that's the basics for configuring this view. We have a feature coming soon on our roadmap that'll make it easy to save multiple view configurations and users of the plan will be able to easily switch between them. Once your data and view is set up in advanced roadmaps, there are a couple basic ways for scheduling issues. Issues assigned to sprints are automatically scheduled for the length of the sprint. Note that this only works for issues sourced into the plan via boards, as they're necessary to access the sprint data. For longer term unbroken down work, simply drag and drop them to visualize the planned timeframe of the issues. 
As you can see, this epic assigned to an Android beta release has been scheduled beyond the release date, causing it to go off track. I have context of the timeframe constraints while I plan. Now for all the changes that we've made, they only exist in advanced roadmaps right now. In this sandbox data model, I can choose when I want to commit to this plan and save these changes to JIRA. Simply click review changes to see what changed, what the values changed from and to, when the change was made and who made it. Then you can either save the changes or discard them. Here we'll just discard them to revert all the values to their original settings. So in this demo, I've shown you an overview of the new planning interface now available for GeoCloud Premium. The main sections of a plan, how to configure the view for your needs, and a small bit on the basics for scheduling the roadmap. Next time we'll cover some of the more advanced capabilities when it comes to crafting your plan, such as team capacity planning and dependency management. So stay tuned. I hope this has been useful for you. I'll see you next time. Thank you.